Hi guys, Girly Girl Three Two Three here. I'm coming at you to do my first ever hauls video. Um, I've never done a video where I've just talked about things that I've recently purchased, so this is my first time doing this. And they are from three different stores. I'm doing products from Sally's Beauty Supply, Ulta, and Sephora. I'm excited about all of these products. Some of them I've already tried. Some of them are still new enough that I haven't tried them yet, so um, I am excited about every single one of them, though. And any products that you see in this video, please feel free to comment below and let me know if you'd like me to do a review on any of them. So, um, my first products, I'm going to go with the stuff that I recently purchased at Ulta first. Um, now, make note, I did not purchase all of these products in the same day. Price-wise, it would have been just ridiculous. So, these are kind of the products that I purchased over the past um, two months. Um, some of them more recently than others, um, as recently as yesterday. However, um, some of them are a little bit older, and um, so I just wanted to make note of that. But they're still recent purchases, so I wanted to talk to you about them today. So my first ones are from Ulta, and mostly these are, or actually all of these are from um, Lorraine Massey's Diva Curl line, and one's from Diva Care, which essentially is the same people who just put out a slightly different formula of product. However, um, I got uh, my first ever Diva Cut recently, and fell in love with the Diva Curl products. So I had always been wanting to try them before, never had a chance to because I lived in a small town, didn't have any of the big time salons that carry the products, and didn't really feel like dishing out not only the price, but then the price for shipping to purchase them online. So I held off and held off and totally spaced that they were even offered at Ulta, and so when I stepped foot into the store, I was super excited to see them there, and because I had gotten the cut, I was like, yes, I'm gonna purchase these products. So my first product is the Diva Curl No Poo, which is kind of the staple product that um, really got the line started. The whole idea behind the Curly Girl method is to not use any sulfates or silicones. And a lot of people leave like parabens and stuff out of um, their routine as well. And so this is a sulfate, paraben, and silicone free. Um, it's basically similar to a shampoo, but it doesn't have the ingredients in there that strip your hair of moisture like standard shampoos do. Um, it's designed specifically for curly hair. Um, surprise, surprise, that's what most of the products I talk about are for, is for curly hair, because I have natural curls, obviously. Um, but this, basically, what it does is it's a zero lather conditioning cleanser, and so it helps to remove, like, product buildup in your hair, and um, it washes out any um, anything that you may have been putting in your hair recently, and, but it doesn't strip your hair of the moisture and that's really really key with curly hair um, and so I've used it a little bit I really love the product I think it smells great I think it works great it does exactly what it's designed to do and I just love the whole line in general um, the next product and I have not tried this on my own yet but I got the Diva Curl One Condition um, the only time I've experienced this product is when I had my hair cut and, um, again, love the smell of this stuff. Not everybody loves the smell, but I really, really like the smell of this stuff. And um, the time I've enjoyed my hair the most was after my haircut. Obviously, salon style is like sometimes when your hair looks the best regardless. But it was the combination of these products and just how light they made my hair feel that made me really, really like them. So I went out and invested and made the purchase. Um, again, I haven't used this in person, like on my own yet, to style it myself. But I really, really enjoyed it in the salon when she used it, so I invested in it myself, and I'm excited to use it. Um, along the same lines, uh, Diva Curl has several different gels that they've come out with, but the one that I purchased is the Diva Care Archangel, and um, they have like the Diva Curl Angels, which um, are like medium hold. There's several different kinds of holds that the gels come in. There's low, you know lower hold or less hold and then a medium hold and um, a firmer hold and she was real close to putting the firmer hold in my hair but decided that um, she wanted to try this she said she thought my hair would really like it and lo and behold it really did so this is still a firm hold gel but it's not the firmest hold that um, that the company came out with but I really really enjoyed this um, again the only time I've used it is um, in the salon so I have yet to use this myself um, and the main reason I haven't used it just yet is because one is my, one of my newer purchases, and two, um, I was reviewing a couple products, so I used those instead recently. But this is going to be the next product that I use. I'm just going to use the Diva Curl and Diva Care products, and I'm excited to try and replicate the results that I got in the salon. So definitely excited about that. 
Um, I also ended up purchasing the Diva Curl Set It Free. And I got the little bottle for a reason. And I've been using this off and on. And for me, the verdict's still kind of out with this product. Um, it's supposed to help with, like, frizz control, but it's a moisture-locking um, kind of misty spray. And um, it's supposed to kind of hydrate your hair as well, but it locks in the moisture. And like I said, the verdict's kind of still out with me. I haven't decided if I like this product, so um, I'm going to still keep experimenting with it. A lot of people speak highly of it, so um, I thought I'd try it out and see what it does for my hair. So I'm going to keep experimenting with it, but I did purchase this at Ulta as well. Um, and another thing that I got is, again, when I got my Diva Cut, um, she used duckbill um, clips, and I had purchased some butterfly clips, which actually, I'll just pull those up right now since I just mentioned them. These I got from Sally's Beauty Supply, though. So these are not from Ulta. These are from Sally's. Everything prior to this so far has been from Ulta, but these are from Sally's Beauty Supply. I purchased these, and I had done it before I got my cut, thinking that they might help. And it's not that they don't give me volume. I just haven't been able to replicate um, what I exactly what I want to do, so I thought I'd get the duck bills to try it out. Um, again, I think I'm just not quite doing these the right way to maximize the volume, but I'm going to keep working with them. Um, but I did get these duckbill clips um, from Ulta, so basically what these are going to do is when I go in and my hair is still wet, I can pinch the roots up a little bit and then clip them and then have it dry that way and then release them and then kind of get underneath with my fingers and release the hold a little bit and it'll help to bring the um, volume out. So I enjoyed it when she did in the salon and hopefully I can kind of replicate it, maximize the volume in my hair. So those are all the products I got from Ulta. So um, what I got from Sally's, obviously I got those butterfly clips. I also got a few um, different caps. So first thing I got was this Evolve. Um, deep con it's like a conditioning cap and um, it what it does is it kind of looks like foil but and it sounds like foil too. And um, basically, it's lined with plastic inside. I can't really show it off. There is a little bit of a plastic layer in there. But um, you can deep condition your hair with this. And this is what I've been doing my deep treatments with recently. Um, I just throw it on my hair, and I've been doing it for about 30 minutes or so on my head. And I just put this on top of my head, let it sit. And the heat from your head, it circulates within the cap. So that's what the cap's designed to do, is to help use the heat from your head to um, condition your hair. So far it works really well. One thing is that I had gone to try and do it like overnight, to do an overnight deep treatment, but because of how crinkly this is, I laid down to do it and it was just annoying. So I'm like, no, I'm gonna rinse this out now and um, I'll do my deep treatments outside of bed. So I don't do overnight treatments with it, that's one downside, but it's really good for if you wanna just do deep treatments in the house. Um, I've, like I said, I've only done it for like 30 minutes, but you could do it for several hours and um, it would still be great just laying on it. It's very, very crinkly and noisy. So just as a heads up on that. I also purchased a new satin sleep cap because the sleep cap I had before it was also from Sally's. I thought it was satin, but it wasn't. So it really was not doing what I had purchased it to do. Um, and that was my fault. It was not the cap's fault. It was mine. So this is a satin sleep cap. The inside, you see, is the shiny. It's lined with satin. The outside kind of has an over, like, meshy layer over it. But um, it's pink, so it's girly, and it's kind of cute. And I just put this um, on top of my hair. I like pineapple my hair, and which is a ponytail on top of my head. And then I put this on my head at night so that it protects my hair from damage overnight from, like, tossing and turning and turning your head around and stuff. And then I also got a new shower cap, and I like this. It's really cute. It's zebra print, and it's got a cute little bright blue bow and blue trim. So this is very simple. You just stick your curls up in this or your hair if you don't have curly hair. Stick this up um, on your head so that when you go, you can take a shower without actually getting your hair wet. So for the girls with, like, um, curly hair, and you want to go for the second, third, or fourth day curls even, you can still shower, but put the shower cap on your head. So I got those. That was all from Sally's Beauty Supply. Um, so this next stuff that I'm really, really, really excited about is from Sephora. And um, I got two makeup palettes for um, my eyes. And um, they're the Sephora brand. So from Sephora, and they are the Sephora brand. And I'm really, really excited about them. 
um, for a couple of reasons, just because I really don't have a whole lot of um, eyeshadow, and um, so I wanted to change that because I just get sick of using the same colors, and I don't use makeup a whole lot, but I kind of want to spruce up my eyes a little bit more. So this first one is, um, it's Primal Instinct Palette. I'll try and do this. It's kind of got like a snake skinny um, design on the cover, and you can see it's Sephora. And then you open it up, and this is the palette. These are the colors of this palette, and um, this is Sephora's answer to the Urban Decay Naked Palette. And I really like it because the Naked Palette obviously is um, kind of top of the line. A lot of people really enjoy it, and I was looking at it, but the Naked Palette's $50, and this was $29, or $28, rather. So this is like half the price. And you get essentially the same thing. So I'm really, really excited to try this. I haven't tried it yet, so not ready to do a review on it at all, but I'm excited to try it out and we'll see what it does. And then the other thing that I got is um, a huge, huge palette of eyeshadows and lipsticks. There are 16 trios and then 15 lipstick colors in this, and it comes in this big black box. So again, it's Sephora. You can see the shiny lights in there because it's very shiny box. You open it up and here is um, here's the colors really. Try to cover this up a little bit. So you can see the different colors there. And then that's not it because you can also open it up, slide it open, and then there's more colors inside here. So you can see in the middle there's more colors again. Hopefully you can see that. I'm trying to do this. It's a huge mirror on it and so it's really hard to show without the glare. So like I said, 16 trios um, and then 15 different lipstick colors. And I am so excited because this is like as much variety as I could really hope for. So between this and then the Primal Instincts palette, I am so excited for what I can do with my eyes here over through the spring and the summer that's coming up. So very, very excited about these. Haven't tried them at all. So um, the verdict's still out with that as well, but I do plan to do a review on these at some point once I experiment with the colors. But, um, and the, the bigger palette was $34. And on the box it says it's valued at $175. Obviously that's the store putting whatever price they kind of want to to lure you in to buy it, so I'm not sure. But honestly, with if you go to the store and see what everything else is for sale for, like the little trios and stuff, I think it would easily match up to about $175. So I don't think they're very far off with how much it would cost if you bought them each um, individually, but they're all in one, and for $34, you really can't go wrong. Um, and another thing with this is that inside is a little con uh, compartment container. Um, I'm not gonna pull it out because my lid is having issues opening right now for whatever reason, and I don't want everything to scatter everywhere. Um, but inside is a little travel container, and you can put three of the trios in there. So you could do, like, the lipsticks come in a little trio thing, so they come in little panels about this big, and you can stick three of them in the travel compartment, and it has a little mirror as well. So you can take those with you either in your purse so you've got it for touch-ups, or you could take it um, on plane trips when you go and you travel and you don't want to take a ton of makeup with you. You can just pick what colors you may need for whatever occasions you're going to. And it's real nice for traveling. So it comes with that as well. So that was kind of nice. Um, I almost forgot to say that that Sephora um, palette, the big one, is called Smoky Studio 2. And it comes in a box like this. You'll see up here the price, $34 when it's worth $175. But it comes in a little container in it, so it's the Smoky Studio 2, and um, so I just wanted to point that out. Anyway, those are all of my products that I got at Ulta, Sally's Beauty Supply, and Sephora here very recently. And uh, like I said, I'm excited about all of them. If you have tried any of these products and you want to say anything about them, whether good or bad, I don't care. Your opinion's your opinion. Feel free to comment down below. I'm going to read all comments and I do my best to respond. Um, also, feel free to like this video if you enjoyed it, share it with your friends if you want to, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. So thanks so much for watching this video. I know it's been a kind of long one, and um, I love all you guys. Thanks so much. Bye.